Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, all the way from Greece. We got here a couple hours ago and it was, it's was it been raining today. It's been like really bad weather, but we've only been here like in the afternoon, so it's not even been a problem. Uh, the rest of the trip is like blue skies, beautiful weather, all trip, so it's fine. We don't really mind, but we're just both in our little robes and we just ordered some room service just because we were only going to go to the hotel restaurant tonight, but... I kind of just feel like sitting in, like sitting on the balcony and just like getting room service, getting a pizza and stuff. So that's what we're going to do. But yeah, I just wanted to start the vlog. So this will be just, yeah, just like a weekly, well, like a holiday Greece vlog. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Actually, I'm like, I'll just give you a room tour now because I was going to say I'll give you a room tour later, but I'll give you a room tour now. And yeah, hope you enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe if you do. So the door obviously is just a normal door. Then there's these like lights, they're really cool. Kind of thing that I think is really cool when it's really not, it's just, yeah. And then you, oh, let me focus. You come in and you've got your mirror wardrobes, which we have filled. It's my outfits, a little sneak peek of my outfits. Um, then you come around here, you've got the toilet and the shower. Then like a double, vanity kind of sink area um which is really cute i really like it and you can like see through which is nice and then you come through here with the bed my lovely boyfriend and then out here is the balcony we've got a little balcony there like if you can see it this is the kind of weather it's like really cloudy um i'm just trying to zoom you in like it's cloudy but it was raining it's not raining anymore which is nice um, but yeah, we just got a little little balcony, which is so cute. We're staying at, it's called the Akasha Beach Hotel and Spa. If any of you want any recommendations from Greece so far, so good. Um, the bed is so comfy. We did a little bed test earlier, just like jumping on it. That was not what it sounded. Sam just gave me the eyebrows, and that's not what it was. Um, Sammy made it all the way. He's my teddy. The TV is massive. Like it's like on the um, desk and it's really nice and big, but we can't figure out how to like do any like Netflix or anything on it. So I don't think you can. Obviously then you just got like desk and a chair. But yeah, that's the room tour. Um, actually we've got our room service. Sam thinks the pizza is going to be really small. I don't know what's giving you that inclination. So but because it's cheap. Oh, it's because it's like eight euros for a pizza, so I'm thinking it's going to be a tiny pizza. Um, so yeah, I'll update you when we have our room service. Yummy, yummy. We've got our pizza and taking it out onto the balcony. I mean, there's better, there's worse places I've eaten a pizza in my life. We have just got back from dinner on the first night. We just went to the hotel just because we were going to go on the beach and have something, but because we had room service yesterday, we thought we might as well like just do something, but we hadn't had anything booked, so we just went to the hotel. Um, it was really lovely. I had quite a lot to eat. I feel quite bloated. Um, but I just had this little O poly dress on. My friend Manny gave it to me. And so thanks Manny. Well, just for the holiday. Uh, it's really cute. So I thought I'd wear this. And then I just wore this little blue bag with it, which I love. It's from Machine. I've got like the Zara version in like the metallic kind of colour as well. But I just thought that went quite nicely with this colour and then I put my, oh you can even see there, my blue like dunks on. We've come back to our room and there's like a flutist, is that the right word? Um, playing the flute outside our window. Window? Outside our balcony. So nice, this is what the hotel looks like at night. It's so lovely. And that's the restaurant that we eat at. So we just ate literally down there for dinner. And oh my God, look how nice that looks in the back. Um, guys, we've got quite a big problem. Um, basically, Sam was just taking my pictures 
and I'm going through like he said this at the time like my nipples were just like so hard like I was so cold I think it's because I just had loads of ice cream like it made me so cold but like I'm actually gonna need to photoshop I don't photoshop my pictures like ever like the only photoshop I'll ever do is me doing this now like I don't sometimes I'll do like the lighting but that is it like I don't I'm a big hater of photoshop I think it's really bad for self-esteem and stuff but I'm sorry I'm gonna need to smooth out my nipples in these Wait, can it focus? Let me just put my brightness down. Are you actually kidding me? Like, every single one of them. Like, I'm not having that, I'm sorry. I'm needing, I'm actually gonna need to Photoshop that out. Like, we even did it in two different locations, and like, both locations. No, no. No. So I'm gonna need to go through every single photo that I've liked, like that I've favorited and do that. That is gonna take me so long. So if you see these pictures on my Instagram, and you think, oh, they're so nice, just know. Actually that. I thought I'd be honest with you guys because I'm not being fake around here. We just sat at the beach, I'll show you in a sec. Um, but I just got an iced coffee and I think this actually is, in fact, I know it is the best iced coffee I've ever had. It's the vanilla iced latte. Like, just look at that. The colour of that is absolutely perfect. We're playing Trumps right now. Trumps for us. You don't know the game of Trumps. It's like, you pick a Trump, like the best card, and then like, you put the cards down. And if you've got the same suit, like, you have to put, basically, it's a good game. And we've been playing lots of card games. Sam's been keeping track the whole holiday. Well, this is to be a day, but all of our scores for, cards and I was 7-0 down or 7-1 seven, down 7-1 seven, down on one of the games and I've come back and it's 8-7 but this is the beach we're having to sit back from the sea because we were like on one of these bed thingies yesterday but Sam got burnt yesterday so he wanted to be in the shade so we need one of these things but it's so lovely like so cute and peaceful and you literally just like scan these things to see like the menu and everything that's where I got this from Snacking. We're out for dinner for the second night. Second night? Second night. Um, and this is our location. Like, how nice is the third night, I think? How nice. And then we're literally like across the um, place, like tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? No, another night basically. It's like right on the sea, it's so, 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 so pretty. And I'm just looking at the menu, I'm not sure what we're gonna order yet. But it's so nice, I've got this dress on from Miss Lola again. Um, I feel like everything I've said is from Miss Lola. And I've got this little bag as well from them as well. Which is so nice, it's like, well, that's not really doing any justice, but yeah. It's lovely, but I'll show you when our food comes. I'm so excited and I think I might just get a fan to lemon if they've got it, because nothing beats fan to lemon on holiday, does it? I got a tomato pasta, Sam got like some pork gyros, I think that's how you say and we moved tables so now we're literally at the seafront like oh nice I'm sorry we've just finished our dinner and we're getting absolutely bitten alive by these m mozzies like can you see these? I don't know if the camera is, no, it's not really picking them up. Um, like, they're everywhere. Like, I can feel them all over me. I was sat there and like, I had them all crawling all over me. Like, I think obviously it's because there's a light and we're right by the sea and I'm just susceptible to being bitten. So I'm thinking, what well, I don't know, are they flies or are they mozzies? I think they're mozzies. Um, I think that I've, oh, sorry, I've been absolutely bitten alive. And I'm gonna have bites all over me tomorrow morning. I'm convinced of it. I've already got two. Like to but they're not too bad. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, you can be professional. Oh, my. Mm, I'm impressed. That's alright. Really. It is. Um, Add some sprinkles as well. I'm gonna get 50 degrees of water. Ooh. <laughs> We 
are currently out for dinner at a place called King Scorpio. It's like the nicest restaurant. I'll show you what it looks like in there. In a sec. Um, I got a burger. They gave me the burger. I didn't take a picture of it, but I should have They gave me the burger um, with the bun, the top bun upside down. So like the top of the bun was just like covered in cheese. So I was like, they also gave me egg and bacon in my burger, which I didn't ask for. Anyway, it was absolutely delicious. The chips were really, really nice. We got some corn tempura which I can't finish. I don't even know if you can hear me, but it's looking quite, quite late. Um, basically, I'll just show you the view and then I'll speak to you later. There's also these really cute cats like running around. I feel like in Greece that's like a thing to have like cats at restaurants and stuff. They are so cute. One was sat under my chair and um, we went to the table take a little picture and I came back and it was sat underneath my chair I was like so cute and then there's two of them and they like had a little fight next to me and then one of them tried to like play with my dress so I was really just sat here eating dinner and then suddenly like I could feel my dress like moving and I was like what the hell is going on and it was like playing with my dress anyway I'll talk to you when we get back we are just down at the beach today we're playing cards and we've made up a new card game we called it Crete so what you do is you get half the pack here we go it sounds good demonstrate for you you get half the pack each, and then you turn your card over, oh, like that, and then that other person turns their card over, and if it's higher, they get to keep it. If it's lower, obviously, you get to keep it, and then if it's the same, you do rock, paper, scissors to see who wins them, and that is it. And we've called it crew. Maybe it's already a card game. Probably is. Probably is. No, it's but, um, yeah, we've just been down at the beach today. It's such a nice day. Like, Sam's still in the shade because he's burnt. Um, and, like, as I've said, I think I said before, I just can't deal with the heat. Like the being hot just isn't for me it's just not my thing so we always have to be by the beach so i've got like the wind to keep me cool um but i've been using if you're wondering why i'm looking so greasy i've been using this um barley body tanning oil thing it's got spf 15 in it which makes me feel better because i get really scared of burning i just don't like burning um not that anyone like wants to burn but I have been using that and so far so good, so fingers crossed, it all sounds ready to play to play creep. But we've also been playing Trump, Switch and Jim Rummy, but we can't think of any other card games for two people. Obviously you've got like Double and Uno and stuff, but we don't have those cards with us. And I've never played Uno, well, I think I've played like a couple times, but I just don't play Uno, it's not something that my family plays. But we, yeah, we've just been playing cards. It's currently, what is the time? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Good guess. I ended up having a sulk about our card game because I just wasn't winning. Like every single round, Sam was winning and it was just getting the winner. So we stopped playing that and we've literally been playing card games for the whole hour. Like it's now three o'clock um, and Sam's about to go for a wee in the sea. Um, <laughs> anyone else do that? Because like, the toilets are so far away compared to the sea, like not as well. And it makes you warmer as well. Like when I used to, um, fun fact, I'm qualified in scuba diving and when I was doing my qualification like that's what I really say to wear your wetsuits it warms you up yeah. but actually I was going to say we have gone to like some of the nicest restaurants I've honestly ever been to we went to this place called King Scorpio and if you ever come to Crete I would so highly recommend going there it's beautiful it was where we went last night I think I've included some clips um it's stunning like I think we're going to go there again tonight because it was just so nice it's literally like a two second walk away from our hotel so we're staying at the Akasha Beach Hotel uh, which I would recommend to anybody I think I said that already it's incredible like the, the food places around us and that's so nice there's somewhere else called Med and somewhere called Cretan Blue Cretan Blue Cretan Blue um, I'm going to put a list at the end of the video of like my recommendations for Crete so well we're staying in Heraklion Hersonosaur Her 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 something like that uh, rather than like Chinia, I don't, I'm probably butchering all these things, but instead of that, we're staying this side. So if you're coming this side, then I would so highly recommend staying at this hotel. It's beautiful, like, yeah, basically. Um, but I think we're just yeah, going to go and have a pizza on the beach tonight because I think we just want a bit of a chill night. Like, anyone else hate putting makeup on like every single day? Like, I'm not a everyday makeup girl, so. When I have to put, well, I don't have to put makeup on to go out for dinner, but I want to look nice when we go out for dates. So, like, when I get back to the room, I'm just like, the last thing I want to do right now is stand by a mirror 
and take off my makeup. I just want to go straight to bed, but I'm not going to sleep with my makeup on. I've just watched those clips back, and I'm not naked. In fact, I have a bikini top on. I realised it literally looked like I had absolutely nothing on. But I've got this really cute bikini from Sheen. Um, it's normally got a bow there, but I just tucked it under because I don't want like a bow tan line. But I think we're just going to chill here for another maybe hour and a bit, and then go up. So we've been doing, we've, in my family, we've got this thing called crisp o'clock. So like on holiday, before we go out, you go onto the bus and you have drinks and crisps and play cards. But you have to be ready, you're not allowed to start crisp o'clock until you're completely ready. So, okay, okay. Um, so, oh wait, you're moving me? Yeah. Okay, I'm not in the sun enough apparently, so I'm getting moved. Um, but yeah, crisp o'clock, you can't stop, <laughs> thank you. You can't start crisp o'clock until you're ready, so we're gonna go up, get ready, and then have crisp o'clock on the balcony. And now I'm too hot because I'm in the sun. I know I said that I wasn't gonna put makeup on for tonight, but my face was just such a different colour to my body that I actually just hated the way I looked, so I had to do something. I just, so I just dip my hair up because it needs to be washed. Guilty of doing that like days in a row. Um, but we're just gonna go and get a pizza from where we were last night, which was King Scorpio. Um, I'm just going to get a takeaway and eat it on the beach and so I just thought I'll chuck my tracksuit on because at night it does get quite cold like kind of chilly, I was quite cold last night actually I had like my dress on and I did have goosebumps when we were sat there I think it's because we're by the sea as well so you're obviously like getting the breeze so thought I'd go comfort over well actually I love this tracksuit like I think it's so cute I was going to say comfort over like fashion but I still think this is really nice and I've got my same bag on again we're just kind of chilling tonight gonna come back and watch harry potter we watched harry potter on the way back from barcelona no we've there been so we back. And back to barcelona and because they're now on netflix and harry potter is my favorite like favorite lot of films i am obsessed with them so and sam was never like the biggest fan no, no. Really. but we're starting to watch them so we're going to come back and watch a little harry potter the lighting was so weird harry potter this evening, after we come back from dinner, what have you done to your hair? Nothing. Sam's hair has been going so weird. I'm like, <laughs> we have secured the goods. We got, I got a barbecue chicken pizza because barbecue sauce on pizza. I've said it probably before in here, and I will say it again. You have to get barbecue sauce on a pizza if you're going to get it, or it doesn't count. I don't make the rules. Um, but they're literally steaming hot, and the woman that served us, she was the nicest person ever. So. But we tried it, we wanted to give her a proper tip, but we only had one euro, so felt a bit bad. But I said to her, thank you so much. Sorry, this is all we've got. Um, but this is the view that we're walking to it right now. This is like another hotel. And then our hotel is that one in the distance. But we're just going to go and sit on our beach, like the beach from our hotel and eat the pizza. So I'll give you a taste test when we're eating it. Um, it's just so beautiful. Like. When we were at the King Scorpio thing, I just kept saying it's just so beautiful. So please, honestly, if you come to Crete, even if you have to travel, like, what would you say to travel? Like 20 minutes? I travel half an hour to go to King Scorpio yeah, for like a one hour trip, yeah, half an hour. 100%. It's a beach club, so you could actually go in the day and then have, um, like, stay for dinner. Like, it's the most beautiful place. Like, I think I included a video last night, but you you literally have to go if you're yeah half probably half an hour radius go or maybe 45 minutes if you're gonna go for the whole day honestly i would recommend it. and the food well i'll give you the pizza review but the food last night was really nice can we get down there mm -hmm. no. what okay. <laughs> going down here and then this is our beach yeah oh my god if i get sand in my shoes Okay, yeah, so this is our beach, that's like part of the hotel, and then let's go sit down here. Like, how nice is all of this, like, oh gosh, I can feel sand in my shoes. Which one should we sit on? Woo! Let's perch down here. Oh, oh it's wet. One, one. one sec. One, one, I have already had a slice, so my taste test isn't a first impression, but the pizza is absolutely, oh, look at that cheese pool. I knew the camera was on it. It's absolutely delicious. I got, um, it's got onion, I don't really have onion on it, but the onion's a really nice addition. Um, onion, chicken, 
barbecue sauce and cheese and it's absolutely delicious. You can tell that it's um, a pizza oven one. For a pizza oven connoisseur, because I've got one at my house, um, it's delicious. Oh, I'm trying to get a bit of pizza. Do you want to help? Thank you. Ah! Mm. Right, we're going to enjoy this in peace. Let's ignore the absolute state of me. I look like I've just woken up. But we are trying to get a bed by the pool today. It's quite like, it's not that many beds by the pool. So you have to kind of like line up to get one, which really gives me the ick. And we've never done it because it just creeps me out. Like if you don't get one, like what are you gonna do? Like walk away and just be like, ah, oh, awkward. But Sam is there now, just trying to get a bed. Um, just cause we haven't been around the pool and I thought, like we've chose the hotel because of how it looks and what it's like so might as well use the pool rather than just the beach so fingers crossed even to bits even if we don't get a bed we're just gonna go in the pool anyway but yeah oh i'll update you this is what the pool area is like. It's so nice. Hello. Got a good one. You got a good one. Well done. That's our room up there. It's so pretty. Do you want to go back to the house? We are currently out for dinner at a place called Veranda. Yeah. Veranda. Um, it's literally right next to all the other uh, restaurants we've been out, and we like literally walk through it to get to um, the, ho the restaurant. I said that I had the best pasta of my life. Um, this is the view. Same as like every night, absolutely stunning. But uh, I've gone really basic, and I've gone for spag bol. Really? We ordered some homemade and some pita bread. Oh, yum! Thank you so much. Yummy. Um, this is Greek, isn't it? I think so. Anyway, my food's here, so I'm gonna go eat it. Bye. I think that might show you how nice that pita bread and hummus was. Sam's so basically just licked the bowl clean. Let's go. Ready? Cheers. What is this? <laughs> Real funny. Have you tried this? Yeah. That trifle? Oh, that's really good. What was that? It's like toilet cleaner. <laughs> no, that's really good. <laughs> Guys, if you went aware, I don't drink. <laughs> really? That's really good. I have. No, the whole thing. Okay. I'm not after. We've been at the pool for like. Four hours. How long have we been at the pool, Sam? For three hours, for three and a half hours. Um, it's quite cloudy today, which I actually really like because I just get too hot. And because we're by the pool, there's not the breeze that we had at the sea. Um, and I just can't. Oh, so I snapped a nail off. I need to redo my nails. So, what colour should I do them? Realistically, am I going to do this colour again? Probably, but still, what colour should I do them? Uh, I think I'm going to order an iced coffee. I'm going to get an iced coffee soon. Have you just beaten my score? If any of you played the game Zigzag, um, I just beat Sam's score and he's just beat it by one. He just beat it by one. He's so chuffed with himself. But I'm going to get iced coffee because... I'll beat it by one and then die. And then die. On purpose or not? On purpose? He's actually a bully. I've said that so many times on it. He's actually a bully. Oh. What did you do earlier that I said you were a bully for? Beat you at cards. Oh, he keeps beating me at cards and I never lose at cards. It's so irritating. But yeah. I keep ordering iced coffees at breakfast because they're free, so why not? Um, and they're never good. Maybe that's a marketing strategy. They're not bad. They're not as good they as keep doing it wrong. Good. Like I asked for it vanilla, and Sam asked for it caramel. They bring his with caramel. They bring mine just like nothing. nothing, not even sugar. And it was like, I'm sure somebody would enjoy it, but I just didn't. Um, but the ones by the pool, honestly, if you come to this hotel, come because of the, the coffee it is next level also there's been this really 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 cute baby by the pool like the cutest baby i've ever seen he's wearing this little like 
cute little baby outfit and his dad's pushing him around in like an inflatable car in the water and it's just so cute like and he keeps giggling like the, a baby giggling is like the cutest sound the best sound ever like everyone by the pool is just watching the little kid and like smiling it's just so cute also yesterday we was it yesterday no the day before one of the days we saw a couple who we think might be famous but we can't put a finger on who they are sam thinks one of them's a footballer but yeah he, he is apparently it's apparently that guy um and i'm pretty sure the guy was like famous but I can't we can't figure it out and we've not seen them since it's not like I can like observe what they're doing I'm just so nosy like we have to know what they're doing who these people are even though I don't care you know what I mean I don't care but I do want to know um see another football today. today oh someone who plays for Nottingham Forest I think is here mm. uh but no it's a lovely hotel I'm currently looking at these bits are really really cute people put, just put their um things on them and not sat on them but I think I've seen it I'm trying not to get anyone in it that doesn't want to be in it but I think we're just going to chill here for the rest of the day we've kind of exhausted playing cards just because I know I'm not winning and it's bugging me so I'm winning by like 18 18 games you're winning by I think so at least 18 Sounds winning by at least 18 games so <laughs> I think we played, what, 100 games of cards? I'm winning 72, 55 in Switch. And How many games of cards have we played? In Trumps, I'm winning 14, 14 7. You need to work it out. Yeah. Like 200 games of cards? Nah. Hey. Uh, 127 plus 21, 148. Hey, we played 150 games of cards and yeah, plus two it's just winding me up. But I can't win because I never don't win. Like, I normally win. Actually, that's a bit of a lie. I don't know when you win. Not it's just because it's Sam that's winning. It's just bugging me. Yeah, not when you're playing against me. You know. No. But now we're playing games. We've been playing Stick Hero. I love the game Stick Hero. You're better than you. Oh, that wasn't us. No. Thank you, though. Um, Stick Hero, I'm better than Sam at. Um, Flappy it. Bird? Yeah. Not Flappy Bird. Stick. Don't don't touch the spikes. It's like a bird that you bounce across the screen. Yeah. I'm good at that. I'm better than that. I beat. I've got the highest score. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I've got like 51. Or 50. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She doesn't believe me. Oh, no, oh, no, Sam doesn't believe that I'm good at anything. Oh, like. Oh, no, on your iPad. Oh, okay, I'm gonna beat you on this. Um, Sam never believes that I'm good at anything. If I'm good at something, or I say that I'm good at something, he just doesn't believe me. What was it? Something this morning. He was like. Is that a red flag? Sam, is that a red flag? What? That you don't think I'm good at anything? I don't, I don't, I don't say that. <laughs> I mean, he's not better than me. Okay, he doesn't think I'm bad at everything, he just thinks he's better than me at everything. What? Which most things you are. Yeah, exactly, I just about to say that. Anyway, I'm going to show you my iced coffee comes because I'm so excited and I want to document it. I made the executive decision for us to move into the shade. So we've got one of these little like room things. It's so cute. They weren't like free. Someone just um, let like got up so you pounce on it. So we've got this. And there's like these little chair things that swing. And then you've got this whole like room and like fan everything to yourself. So it's a no brainer because I felt like I was burning. I didn't want to put any sun tan lotion. <laughs> Do you want to still want to be in the sun? Yeah. Oh. I think I deprived Sam of the sun, so this is what he's resorted to. Um, quite comfy, good. But I'm happier because I felt like I was burning and to be completely honest, like I am just going to fake tan from a bottle when I get home. So I'd rather not tan and then like end up like peeling um, than burn. So, wait, not tan not tan then burn and up healing or like whatever so i just thought i want to stay in the shade it's actually a really cute place for a picture samuel back there i still haven't ordered my iced coffee should i go up to the bar and order my iced coffee yeah yeah i think i might the beds here are so nice i think i've said it a thousand times already but we're staying at the akasha hotel beach hotel and spa would 100 percent recommend it's so lovely the staff have been so nice it's just yeah and the bed is really comfy. I've, slept, I've had some of the best night's sleeps I've ever had. I've had a couple nightmares. Maybe it's something to do with what I'm eating here. 
um, I had a nightmare that someone was stalking me. And then I woke up and I could see someone in the room. Obviously, there was nobody in the room, but I could see it. And then, what was my other nightmare? I, don't know, I told you. No, the one I woke you up was that I had. Um, oh, it was that there was a plane crash. Sam has just come back from going up to the bar and he's brought me my iced coffee. So. This is the best one, Sam. Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm currently editing. Uh, oh, that's a really cute picture. But I've currently got 32 minutes of footage, if you can see that. So hopefully this vlog is gonna be good for you. Fingers crossed. I've got this cute HM like shirt on today. Like so nice in this little white bikini. Um, and we're about to go snorkeling, so I've got my goggles, I'm gonna put my snorkel on. We have been snorkeling already, but um, Sam wants to go again, so I'm gonna have to, the sea is freezing when you get in it. If you're not hot already, the sea is freezing. Sam, someone's on our beds. No, that's not our bed, we're around the side. Oh, oh yeah, I take it back. So we're about to go snorkeling. There's not many fish and the visibility is really bad, but for some reason Sam really enjoys snorkeling here. So I thought I'd go in with him. Uh, but yeah, it's just absolutely freezing. My hair is gonna go nuts after the seawater. I would say I'd take you with us, but I'm not because there's no chance I'm putting my phone under the water. Actually, I think, can like an iPhone go underwater? Yeah. I'm not risking that. No, I wouldn't either. No. <laughs> but we're about to do that and then get ready for dinner tonight. It's our last night tonight and I just thought I'd show you my dress because I got it from Sheen. Um, but it was a long dress like all the way to the floor. And I thought, oh, I thought I'd cut it. Um, so it's like a cute little mini dress. I mean, this was literally like a five minute job. Um, it's a bit crooked. <laughs> So it's a bit crooked, but it's really cute. It's giving like Tinkerbell. I also look really pale today. I did do, I like shaved because I'm gonna fake tan tomorrow anyway when we get back. Also, I've lost this nail, but I'm gonna redo them anyway, so it's fine. But I shaved because yeah, I'm gonna fake tan and it's taken all of the remaining remaining fake tan that I had on off. So I'm now like literally white as a ghost, I feel like Casper the ghost. So I'm picking up our key ring. So in my last vlog, my last random vlog, I said that we like to find a key ring from places that we go just so we can have it in our little memory box that we've got. So we bought our grease one, which let me actually turn you around so I can show you better. It's this little key ring. Oh, I've got all the like rubbishy sides. So I've got an evil eye thing. I think that's evil eye. Then a little Crete, grease flag, and then like this helmet thing. So that's our grease key ring. So cute. We, we like looked for loads and we saw loads and this was our favorite by far. So I have to go with that one. We are at a place called Med Cafe. I think I said that. And this is the view. The place we ate the other day is literally there. Um, it's so pretty. And our starter just came. We got potatoes brava and then like focaccia bread. And I ordered carbonara for Maine and Sam got a little. What did you get for Maine? Pork belly. Braised. Braised pork something. But yeah. Yummy. For Maine, I got um, carbonara with no pork because I don't like bacon and it makes me feel sick. And then Sam got beef. Braised beef cheeks. Braised beef cheeks and pasta. That looks really good. Yummy. We are back from dinner at Med Cafe and we just come to the hotel because every night like we can still come and get dessert because it's like we have half board so like dinner's included and every night we've been coming, well most nights we've been coming back and getting some ice cream because they've got like, I think I included a clip earlier but they've got like self-serve ice cream scoop, scoop kind of thing. Um, also yeah I do have my jumper on, I this is like the height of fashion right here. It's just it got a bit cold. Um, but I've gone for like Neapolitan kind of vibes. So strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, and then chocolate sauce and sprinkles. So I'm just went for it and got just, just strawberry. Well, um, this is the hotel at night. So pretty. Just 
because this is where you eat breakfast and at like, dinner. And then I got like in there. And in there is. But yeah, we're just gonna enjoy this and then we've got Harry Potter to watch. We're on the Order of the Phoenix. We're up to where are we up to? I keep falling asleep. About an hour in. About an hour in, we've got to. Order of the Phoenix is my favourite film. I feel like that's a really unpopular opinion. It's my favourite Harry Potter film, I think. And along with the Half of Prince. But I feel like that's unpopular. Your favourite's Half of Prince. Yeah, to be honest, that could be that could be the top. No, I do like Order of the Phoenix. Yeah. We are all pretty much packed and ready to go. We've still got the rest of the day here, but obviously like checkout is um, at like 11. So we just thought, get up, make sure everything's packed and then just go down and have breakfast and then come up and like get checked out and everything. But I am decided I'm staying out the sun today just because for a very lazy reason, I can't be bothered to do my suntan lotion today. And I feel like I, my skin is like, I don't want to be in the sun anymore. So I'm not going to be in the sun today. That's fine. We've got a bed, unlike yesterday, one that actually is going to be in a bit in the sun. So Sam can enjoy the sun. I've just got this little um, dress from Sheen on. Pretty much all my like summer stuff is from Sheen. I just think it's such like good stuff for summer. And um, it's just got like an open back and um it like ties up it's really nice my bikini is from machine and my hat is from machine like the whole outfit apart from my flip flops are from machine and they're from Primark. it's like a really long thing here one sec but yeah we just sam has done all the packing i think i said yesterday that we did the packing yesterday but oh wait, i'll show you the bed that we've got our bed is that one for today and then get in the taxi and go to the airport apparently like when we got here the airport was absolutely tiny but there, apparently there is places like to eat in the airport which i'm praying for because our flights at what time is our flight nine eight uh, 8 15 so we're gonna get to the airport for like six ish so that's like prime time to eat food so fingers crossed but if we do anything exciting today, I'll keep you updated. Oh, we're going for lunch, actually. We haven't had lunch any other day. But we're going for lunch today just at the restaurant in the hotel. Like, the one by the beach. Because you could just change your dinner to lunch on the last day if you're not going to be there for dinner. 21. What, what have we got? 23? Cool. Um, you could change your yeah dinner reservation to be lunch and be, it be included in your, like, uh, cost and stuff. So why not just realized i completely forgot to say i said that my ice cream was vanilla chocolate and strawberry yesterday and if you watch my barcelona vlog you'll know my all-time favorite ice cream combination is lemon and like lemon sorbet and chocolate and i took a spoonful of what i thought was the vanilla with the chocolate and it was lemon sorbet so the whole trip i hadn't been having my favorite combination because i thought it was vanilla because they all looked the same or well, do you reckon that was the first time it was there um, there was an extra one, so it could have been, it the, could have been the first time. I'm going to tell myself it was the first time to make myself feel better. But I was like, it was a lovely night, last night treat, being able to have it. And Sam tried it and he said it was actually really nice. So that and my pizza um, combination of barbecue base and pineapple are both such good combinations that everyone just hates on for literally no reason. But yeah, I managed to get my favourite combination of ice cream yesterday. So that made my night. It was, I was so happy. We've got this whole mini bus to ourselves. We feel like a VIP client, well I do. We feel like a VIP client. Do you? Yeah, but we're not. Yeah, but we're not. I am back home now and already suffering from hay fever. I literally only get hay fever when I'm at home or like near, like round where I'm from. But I just edited the vlog and realized that I didn't have an outro. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. I actually loved filming it. Like, I feel like to look back, it's like a nice little memory to look back so like on what we did in Greece so yeah I hope you enjoyed it let me know what other videos you want me to do like if you want more like vlogs of just kind of day-to-day -day life or whatever please let me know but yeah thank you so much for watching like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video